twin brothers Anthony and Bailey were last to the pit stop on this week's episode of The Amazing Race. And the brothers join me now via Zoom. Guys, how are you feeling after last night's episode? What's up, man? Yeah, how's it going? Uh, great, honestly. You know, it was, I mean, it's not the ending we wanted, but it's. it was just, it's been such a great experience just being a part I of was, it and then watching it obviously has been a whole other thing it's been so cool even just if to, it was our downfall last night it was still such a blast to watch like it was it was awesome yeah well i have to imagine just being on the show alone is a huge accomplishment and i know that you guys have been fans of the show for a very long time so kind of tell me how that got started for you and why you maybe wanted to be on the race my grandma was like a she's like a big amazing race jeopardy and survivor you know it's all she watches oh, and big so, brother so big <laughs> brother too yeah she loves big brother so we always grew up watching uh, just Amazing Race and some of these other like amazing shows that CBS has. And we've just always been intrigued of, you know, if we had the opportunity one day, like it'd be something yeah. we'd, we'd and love I, to try. Yeah, and I think we started like watching them back again. Like, you know, I've seen a lot of the old ones and we kind of started back at like 30 to like maybe 32 or something. We started watching again and we were just like, dude, like, I'm not saying we're going to be the best racers, but like, <laughs> we can do this, bro. We can have a great yeah. time doing it too, you know? Yeah, absolutely. Well, and knowing that your family was so supportive and kind of the reason that you guys maybe got on the show where we're interested in initially, how did they feel watching you guys on the show? They're like they, our biggest fans. They have not of it. been blowing us up. So supportive, so sweet. I mean, it's it's just been cool to like see something, especially it's like we're bringing our whole family together. Everyone's kind of talking and like sending, you know, funny stuff they're reading online or what. It's just, it's kind of brought everyone together again. And it's, it's just been so amazing. It yeah. has been. Yeah. Well, and support goes a long way. And so on this episode that was in Columbia, where you guys were ultimately eliminated, we see you guys go back and forth a lot on the detours. You're not really sure which one's going to kind of um, make you move on in the race. And so you kind of keep swapping back, back and forth. Do you feel like had you not swapped back and forth and maybe either stayed at the cooking once you got there or just trusted yourself or stuck it out? Do you think that maybe that would have helped you in the longer and maybe you'd still be on the or in the race, I guess? That was killer. I think that if we just stuck to one or at least didn't switch as many times as we did, there would be like a way higher percentage of us coming out on yeah. at least, yeah, not dead last. Yeah, it's hard to say what the outcome could have been or, you know. You know, but, we were some tough racers, man, some good competitors. But definitely, I think we would have made up a lot of time if we just like, yeah. And, and what you said, I think, I don't think we should have done the Willies. I think that one was that one was crazy. Race, but I think, like you said, once we switched, we should have just stayed. That mm -hmm. should have been. We should have just committed to that because we ended up, you know, in the end going back anyway. Watching it last night, I was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, okay. absolutely. Well, and I mean, you have to trust your gut. Is that something that you guys feel like you're typically pretty good at? Or was this something that was maybe pulled out of you on the race that you're like, man, maybe this is something that we need to kind of like work on in our day to day life as well? Impulse, too. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, I think I always go with my gut and I always just I'm quick to just do stuff. And I think I've wanted to almost tone that back a little bit and make more educated decisions. And I think, yeah, I kind of been there was no education in those decisions. Yeah, I think, yeah. <laughs> I think it was more like a panic. Decision. We were scared of like the willies because those were like it was intimidating. It was a lot going yeah. on there. And then we go back to cooking and like it's all in Spanish. And we're like, OK, this is also going to take a while. But the other teams <laughs> obviously didn't have an issue with it. So, you know, next thing we know, we're running back and forth and back and forth and watching, you know, everybody just move on to the next thing. It was it was it was definitely an episode to watch. <laughs> yeah, it's it's got to be a huge emotional toll actually being there live experiencing it. And speaking of that, we see that you reach the um, cherry picking roadblock last in this episode, obviously right before the pit stop. But it kind of seemed like once you guys got there, you kind of knew maybe at that point you were out. So would you say that's true or were you still actively trying to beat out Michelle and Sean there at the end? I think there there was a like when we first got there, you know, we see Danny and Angie running and they're like, guys, like there's a chance, there's hope, there's hope. And like we we kind of were like, okay, like maybe a little bit. And we get there and we see Michelle's like almost halfway through with her basket. I think we knew exactly where we stood, but we also knew we had there was hope and a chance, like you know, we, we had a chance of yeah. we just wanted back. to like keep our cool and like not get too stressed out and just kind of take it, just enjoy and, it, you know, no matter what the outcome. We knew that like this could be our last moments on the race, so we want to enjoy it and and just obviously try to finish before <laughs> before shot and Michelle, yeah. but we wanted to be able to enjoy our last ten minutes on the race compared to being just stressed out and not yeah. being able to enjoy it. Like if that's all we had, then we knew we yeah. might as well make the most of it. So that's all you can do.
Well, absolutely. I mean, you have to enjoy those last few moments, especially considering if you knew that you were about to be out. And you're also in such a cool place. So why not actually enjoy what you're doing? Yeah, um, it was so pretty, man. Yeah, it looked really cool. And that leads me to ask you, do you know how far behind you actually were from Michelle and Sean? Um, I, it's hard to put a number on it, but I'd say maybe 10 minutes, maybe. Like, mm. I don't know, maybe more, maybe less. But it was sure. probably right 10 15 just like, right behind it was like it was enough to where we knew like there was probably not a chance but also like still enough to give us hope to like continue through this and just yeah stay positive. and don't quote me on the 10 it, it, it felt like probably just about in the minutes, in the moment like, it felt like hours it yeah felt like, it really, like, time perception was a little difficult yeah. but yeah yeah, well, I will not hold you to the 10 minutes. Either way, it looked really close <laughs> from the viewer's perspective. Now, you know, something else that was just so apparent um, watching you guys on the show is how close you are. And even though you are so close, do you feel like being on the show together strengthened your brotherhood and your um, kind of relationship in any way? I didn't know if it would be possible, but it, it did. Like, you know, I didn't know how else we could possibly, you know, like take on something else that would bond us in a, in a way that we already aren't. But like, I mean, totally. Yeah, I think I think it just taught us how to even deal with real life. You know, this wasn't real life. This was something whole <laughs> different. But I think it, it kind of now we can take this bigger picture and, and apply it to our real life of just kind of deal with situations that are stressful or we're under pressure and learn how to communicate instead of just butting yeah, heads. You know, like it wasn't pretty like us in a, as a team, like, you know, and the way we went out, it wasn't pretty. But I'm just like, I'm proud of us. Like we stuck together. We didn't let that divide us. And that that's kind of how we want to approach everything. Yeah, just let nothing get in between us. So it can't, it's the, you know? It's the problem, you know, not us. We're <laughs> we're bigger than the problem. Which yeah. was the amazing racing, <laughs> yeah. losing and getting stuck and turned around like three times. But Well, the amazing race wasn't the problem. It was that deep. It was us. We were it was all four of them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I appreciate hearing that. And I think that it's really cool that you guys kind of got some like real world or real life lessons maybe out of this that you can take on um, kind of just in the next part of your life. So the final thing I always ask every single team I speak with is you guys, would you return to the race if you were ever asked again? In a heartbeat. I absolutely. I wouldn't even have to think about I'd it. I'd actually pack my bag right now. Yeah. <laughs> Phil, just, if you want me back, I'll I'll happily come back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're on the plane. They're ready to go. They'll meet you there. At the, yeah, at like the I'm already packed up. I'll be there. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, Anthony Bailey, thank you guys so much for taking the time to speak with me. Congrats on your run on The Amazing Race, even if it got cut short. Um, and we hope the best for whatever's next for you all. Hey, it was oh, awesome you, talking yeah. to you, man, for real. Yeah, it was great. Thanks yeah. for having me. Thank you, guys.